combating nutrition disinformation and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with another episode of Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com is the website if you want to engage in the content. We start off on Instagram Live, so go follow me at Livin Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N, on Instagram. You can watch it live like all these people down here are doing. And then you can watch it on the replay for 24 hours on Instagram. We then put it on YouTube for you. And if you want to find the past episodes of Jimmy Ranch, you just go type in Jimmy Ranch into a YouTube search and you will find the past episodes. And then we have an all new Jimmy Ranch podcast, which you can access wherever you listen to podcasts. JimmyRants.com is where all of this is housed. So today's Jimmy Ranch, you guys, is coming straight from my heart because I see it time and time and time again. When people get into a rut, they get down on themselves, they get discouraged, they get and feel defeated, especially when you're trying to make a life change and you have all of these great expectations that wonderful, uh, incredible things are gonna happen for you in a very quick amount of time. And when those things don't happen and or when you start to see things that are seemingly going in the opposite direction towards bad, not good, you feel down, you feel discouraged, you feel defeated. So today's Jimmy Rants is just for you. Because if you're discouraged right now, and you know, you know who you are. Don't, don't make me come through this camera and grab you and say, um, hello, you're discouraged, it's okay. Don't, don't make me have to do that. Don't make me come through there and say, you know what, I know you feel defeated right now. Because you know it, you know it in your heart of hearts. You know that you're just not right in your head. And I don't mean that in the bad way. You're not right in your head. Uh, but I mean it in such a way that sometimes we allow ourselves to psych ourselves out. And let me explain. So you go on a ketogenic diet, for example, and you start seeing great success. And you're measuring your weight because that's what you want to measure. And you're doing other uh, markers of success and just tracking how you're doing. And then suddenly something changes. It could be a something as simple as you go to see your doctor. And I had an example of this this week where a lady sent me her numbers from her doctor and something her doctor wrote to her in an email. And the doctor scared the bejeebies out of her because, oh, you're eating keto. Oh my gosh, look what it's done to your total cholesterol. We got to get you on a statin drug and you need to cut out that keto thing and go on a low fat diet. Now, anybody would hear that kind of news from an authority figure about your health, like your doctor, and it would send them into a tizzy. Oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? So they discourage you. And you might even feel in the back of your mind, well, dang, if the doctor's saying this, maybe it's true. Maybe this keto is harming me. So you start to feel defeated. And what do you do when you're discouraged and you're defeated? You make one of two choices. And nine people out of 10 make the first choice. You quit. You quit keto. You move on to something else. You don't really ever find success, but you move on to something else because you got so defeated and discouraged by what happened. You know what the other 10% of people do? And it might even be smaller than that. They pick themselves up, they dust themselves off. They say, you know what? I acknowledge what is happening here. I'm being discouraged by design. I'm not going to allow that because I know the value that I'm getting from what I'm doing. And if a doctor wants to try to scare me, uh, it ain't going to happen. And so this particular example uh, of the lady that sent me her numbers, the doctor told her, you must get off of the keto diet immediately. You must go on a plant-based diet immediately, and you must take a statin medication. 
this lady's like, no way, Jose, am I going to do that? And I talked to her on the phone a little bit and gave her some reassurances about the numbers, some things that, that she was doing in her keto that maybe we could clean up a little bit. Um, and now she's off to the races, but she's resolute in not getting down by this discouragement, not getting down by the feeling of being defeated. And we do this a lot to ourselves. This is something, the, the negative self-talk that we give ourselves I mean, if people could hear out loud what you're hearing in your mind's eye, they would be shocked. I mean, a lot of people would be very, very shocked to know how you talk about yourself. And here's the thing I want you to grasp onto. Would you talk about someone else, anybody else in your life, and especially a loved one, in the way that you talk about yourself? Would you? Most people wouldn't dare say some of the things that they say about themselves in their head to someone they love. You wouldn't say that to your spouse or to your child or to your mom or your dad or sister or brother or cousin or uncle or whatever. You wouldn't do it. Why? Because it would be horrible. And yet, why do we see ourselves in any less value? Do you love yourself? If you don't, you better start because at the end of the day, if everybody else in your life is gone, guess who's left to love you? That's right, it's you. And so if you're not loving yourself and putting your mind in the right place, that if you get these feelings of discouragement, these feelings of being defeated in life, you've got a choice to make. You can give up and say, okay, well, I'm just going to do something else or you're gonna double down and you'll say, you know what, I know what's right for me and I'm going to just pick myself up and do this. And especially this time of year, I'm recording this at the beginning of December, people, the holiday season for a lot of people is not a happy one. Um, everybody assumes this time of year, everybody's happy, it's a joyous time and it is for so many people. Um, because it's celebratory and it's the family time and it's all the, the, the festiveness of the season. And yet some people don't feel that because they've allowed themselves to feel discouraged and feel defeated and then they wallow in that. And I'm not saying that in a negative way about the people that do that other than know that you're not alone, know that this is not, you're not the only one that goes through this Know that you can come out of that rut, but you have to make a conscientious effort to get out of that rut. And I think sometimes people, they get into this feeling of being discouraged and feeling defeated, and they just, they just stay there. And I'm going, if I'm in that, and I catch myself sometimes getting discouraged and defeated just from things that are said online about me. And, you know, you, it's, I'm human. You're going to have those. But how you deal with it is the key here. And hopefully what you're getting from this Jimmy Rants today is you have the ultimate decision, the ultimate power over how that's going to affect you. If it's going to affect you positively or negatively. If you're going to use it as motivation or if you're going to use it as a means for feeling even more defeated. And so if you make the choice that you're not going to allow it to defeat you and discourage you and instead be lifted up in the process of going through whatever it is that's making you feel discouraged and defeated, if, if you make that choice that you're going to just pick yourself up and not allow this to keep you down, then you're stronger than most people out there because a lot of people will just wallow in it. I'm very anxious to see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, Ashton, thanks for being here. Doctors don't know about nutrition, trust your body and listen to it. Yes, Ashton, sadly that is true. Lilla Grand says, I'm always skeptical of what doctors tell me, so I rarely visit one. Well, you still need to see some kind of medical or nutritional health professional. Um, if you've got issues going on in your in your health. So don't not go see the doctor. I'm not a fan of that. 
but I would say try to find someone, if it's a nutritional issue, uh, go try to find someone who is an expert in nutritional health, whether it's a nutritional therapy practitioner or an enlightened physician or a functional medicine practitioner. There's lots of opportunities these days outside of the mainstream medical field. Bonnie Lene, uh, great topic today. Thank you, thank you. Uh, been keto almost a year with all the great results, positive things happening to me. I won't let anything discourage me. And Ashton, thank you for bringing, bringing that up. Because I'll tell you the example, in 2004, when I was on the Atkins diet, I lost 100 pounds in 100 days. This bad boy needed to lose weight and needed to get inflammation down, and the body was responding to that. But then, suddenly, for 10 weeks in a row, I didn't lose any weight. I mean, as in zero weight loss. In fact, a couple weeks there, I gained a couple of pounds, and I'm going... I'm not doing anything different. What in the world? Why did I not get discouraged and defeated? I looked back and I said, look, I've lost 100 pounds in a very short amount of time. Why would I be defeated and discouraged by this? Yeah, it was kind of disappointing that it wasn't continuing, but what turned out was my body was trying to catch up to all the weight loss and it just needed to adjust. And sometimes we need to be patient through the process of all of this. Uh, so Ashton, for you, you're seeing positive things happen. So when hard times come, you now have something to look back on and go, well, dang, look how far I've come. And perspective is everything in this conversation about whether you stay discouraged and stay defeated. If you keep the right perspective and you say, oh my gosh, look, I've lost 15 pounds and I'm off of my blood pressure medication rather than, oh my gosh, I should have already lost 40 pounds and I should be off my diabetes medication. So perspective is literally everything in this conversation. My low carb path, hey cat, uh, self love and self care is the first step in being successful on keto. The inside transformation must occur for the external transformation to last. And you are so right, my dear. It really starts right there. And if you, if you stop the negative chatter in your head, you're going to be so much more successful on keto. And and just for your sanity in life in general, I think so many people talk ugly, ugly, ugly to themselves. And I, I don't get it. If, if you can't love you, who else is going to love you? And here's the thing. When you don't love you, it manifests itself on the outside. So other people see that and then they go, well, dang, it's obvious that person doesn't love themselves. Why would I love them? But if you love you, you become lovable so that then others will love you as well. I know this is going deep today, you guys, but this is something people deal with on a daily basis and they leave it unresolved. I mean, like they don't even try to deal with the head stuff. And I think the head stuff is just as important as the physicality of what you feed yourself and how much exercise you get and all the other things that we talk about. If you can't love yourself and get that noggin up there to know things are all right, nothing's going to be all right. Uh, Nancy Va Beach says, it is so important that we lift up our keto brothers and sisters. You set a great example. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, if, if you want to get out of your rut of being discouraged and defeated, and it's so weird for people when they hear this, encourage other people. As you guys can tell, I, I'm an encourager. I think it's one of my gifts uh, is to encourage, and I've always been that way, um, and I always will be that way. But you can't really be down on yourself and have negative talk, uh, thoughts in your head if you yourself are trying to encourage and uplift and be kind to and be giving and loving to other people. I think that's a huge element in this whole discussion today about being discouraged and defeated. When you feel that way, love on, be kind to, do good acts for other people and watch what happens to that discouragement and feeling defeated. Uh, always something good to hear from you. Thank you, Shelly. Who? 
we focus on the external transformation, but that internal dialogue and internal change has to happen for the external to be a lasting change. Self-love is the starting point. And I will preach that message till kingdom come, Kat, uh, because I do believe that's absolutely true. Uh, my daughter has epilepsy. I couldn't find one single nutritionist who used keto for children. They said the meds are so much better. And yes, but I wanted a backup for her. Very disappointing. So Bonnie Lene, yeah, I could see how that would be discouraging. Um, and it can make you feel like you're defeated. But knowing you from the comments you've made on my Jimmy Rants episodes before, you're strong, my dear, and you're going to figure this out. You're going to get someone who can help you. Um, if I can help you with that specific issue, let me know. Definitely private message me and I can put you in touch with people that could poss uh, possibly help you with your daughter. Always trust the process. That's right, Kat. My weight loss has been slow. Still need to lose about 80 pounds, but I'm off all my meds. See, Shelly, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, you have big challenges still in front of you, uh, but looking back at what you've done can prevent you from becoming discouraged and defeated. Because once you allow that one little seed of doubt in your head, then that seed of doubt starts to sprout and all of these negative thoughts that you had, they manifest into things that become actions in your life that may not necessarily be the right thing for you. So always, always, always stay encouraged and kudos to you coming off of all your medications. That is a huge accomplishment. And if you never lose the rest of those 80 pounds, the fact that you don't have to take any prescription drugs anymore is just tremendous. You can't put a price on that. Making keto my Christmas gift to me, Bullock in 2018. Excellent. Well, don't wait till Christmas. Do it right now. But I know you are. So, <laughs> Hello, George. Thanks for being here. You are an amazing encourager. Definitely one of your gifts. Thank you, Kat. All right, guys, that is it for this Jimmy Rants. Uh, so hopefully today, if you watched this or you're watching on the replay or watching on YouTube or listening on the Jimmy Rants podcast and you feel discouraged, you feel defeated, and you just don't know how you're going to get out of your rut, it's time to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, look at it with the perspective of how far you've come, not to what you haven't yet attained. And once you have that perspective, when you are down, it will lift you up and help other people and encourage other people and being the example for other people. All of these things will keep you on the straight and narrow in your pursuit of reaching your goals. That's it for this episode of Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com, as always, is the website. We start off on Instagram Live, so go follow me there at Livin Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. Then we have it up there for 24 hours. If you didn't watch it live, then it's on YouTube, Jimmy Rants, if you want to look up any of the past episodes. And then on uh, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, all the normal podcasting formats, you can listen to the Jimmy Rants podcast. I hope you guys have enjoyed this show. I've been enjoying doing it uh, now for the past month or so, month and a half. Uh, but we're going to keep this going, guys. I got a lot of things that I want to rant about. So thanks for watching. JimmyRants.com as always. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye.